Hello, this is Sri Ram from Kamal and Co. FactoryDisplay.com. In this video, I will be talking to you about the hourly production LED display board. One or more of the hourly production LED display board can be connected to your PC in which a standard upload program which is supplied along with this board is installed. You can upload the cycle times, you can upload the various breaks like coffee breaks, lunch breaks or any schedule breaks with start and end time for the breaks and then define the beginning of the shift and the end of the shift. Once this is done, the board retains in its memory the settings and then increments the plan based on the cycle time which is programmed. The actual count comes in either as a potential free contact from your side or can come as a voltage or can come as a digital input from your side. Efficiency is calculated as actual divided by plan into 100. There is also a real-time clock available on the board which enables it to begin a shift, end a shift, insert the production for the respective hours into the slots at the bottom as well as stop incrementing real-time plan during the breaks. Our normal display board has 2 inch characters, 50 mm characters in red color FND suitable for ambient indoor viewing. In plan, actual and efficiency. 25 mm LED red FND displays are used for clock and for the respective hourly outputs. Now you could have either a 3 or a 4 or a 5 digit number for the plan, actual, 3 digit for efficiency, the clock is a standard at 6 digits for hours, minutes and seconds and hourly outputs similarly can either be in 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 digits depending on your requirement. Now at the end of the shift all this data can be downloaded into your PC as an Excel sheet which we will illustrate to you. Now in the following video for your convenient viewing I have made the cycle time as 3 seconds so you could watch the plan window increment once every 3 seconds. Now in this board the shift has been programmed to start at 6 o'clock 6 a.m. So now you see the earlier shifts data will get erased and the board resets to 0 and starts counting again at the stroke of 6 o'clock. Now actual which is counted from a contact available on the board keeps incrementing for the first hour at the hour one slot. As you can see actual is 9 at the top and 9 at the respective hour slot. Similarly for hour two the count automatically goes to the hour 2 slot. As you can see the count is taking place in the slot at hour number 2. The third slot receives the third hour actual production and so on. Another important feature built into this board is in case of a mains failure, power mains failure 
the board would still retain the last count or the last status in memory and display it once power is restored. This is a very important feature. Now please watch carefully, at the end of the last hour in the shift, in this board, the 8th hour, the board keeps counting till 14 hours and then at the end of the 14th hour the board resets to zero and the contents of the board available at the end of the shift is now recorded into a data logger inside the board. The hourly production board has two RS485 ports. One is to receive data from the PC and the other to connect to a different board on the loop which means you could add any number of boards to a particular chain of communication. All the boards are done up with aluminum extruded frames and are fixed with ceiling mountable hooks at the top. Once the shift is over you could download the performance of the particular line, of a particular line, into an MS Excel sheet, and this is how the output would look. Of course, the output can be configured according to your requirement, and the layout can be done according to your requirement.